little windy. Sorry about that, as always. Uh, I've got this post I put here a long time ago for a clothesline. And now we poured the concrete all further. We've got the pool up. And the wife wants a deck, a small deck, so she can be up, so she can see the kids playing in the pool. I figure I could use this one and just put three more in and be good to go. So here we go. been a minute since I started this but not too long maybe uh oh gosh I don't know a week or two in the video. <laughs> the camera's on the ladder. Uh, it's fine right there. Thank you though. making sure right now highly technical measuring practices here uh, making sure that I don't have the post further apart than uh, standard lumber like an eight foot um, that way uh, as the support beams the joists the box joists or whatever they can run past the posts but um, so I like using standard sizes. I don't like cutting unless I have to so I'll put one right here, one there, and one a little further out to, to just kind of spread it as much as I can and get a good angle on the on the pool. Anyway, so that's the idea there. I'm going to get right up pretty close to this pad. I don't want to be right on it, but I want to be right up close so that the step, I can mount the step to the, the posts. So I'm going to go like right here I want to make sure I'm uh, I don't care about being perfectly square I know a lot of guys do I'm not a pro and I don't want to be so this will be close enough oh now it doesn't want to here we go come on oh flip the switch Each one, goodness. Huh? 
No, they're not eagles. Those are turkey vultures. Only small people. Kind of like your size. Are they one? No, there's one, two, three, four of them right there. Goodness gracious. That's just a piece of it though. And there's the other piece. Huh. And hit the next layer of rock, but that's good because it's at a good depth. Dad, nice to have something hard at the bottom anyway. What do you need, baby? What are you putting in there? Well, I'm going to put some a, a post, uh, some concrete. Hey, get out of the picture. I don't like my kids in the picture. So, you gotta think about what kind of posts I'm using though too. So I gotta think, uh, if I'm using those cedar posts, the base of them flares out. So either I'll cut the base off or I'll need to open this hole up a little bit. And I hate to open the, the hole up more. I'm kind of lazy. So let's just see if we can leave that one there. So what I'm gonna do is the same process for the other two holes, bust out the rocks, drill it down to uh, I think it's probably about 18 inches. Let's see. 16. 16 inches. We don't get deep frost here, so so that'll be fine. So I'll pause it. Alright, so I got my cutter tool of choice. And uh you know, figure out how high up out of the um 
Hey, don't go in this back door. Goodness. Uh, figure out how high I want it to stand. I mean, I probably want it to be up close to deck height or uh, pool height. Maybe even have the deck kind of lean over the top of it so you can dangle your feet in. I don't know. So, I guess we're at 16 deep. And uh, and then we're, oh gosh, chest height on me. So what's chest height on me? See if, see if I can be as goofy as possible. I'm six feet tall, like this. Say chest height, about 19 inches. Oh, what's 72 minus 19? I don't know, I'm not a math teacher, what the heck? <laughs> Another way to do it, just get your piece of wood. Now you see what I mean, the base of this is way too big to fit in that hole. So I'll need to open it up. But if I say I wanna to be to here, right? I need to make it 16 more than that. So from chest, 16, there it is right there. Right there. And of course you get two nice things out of this beautiful smell of cedar and you've got yourself I don't know a giant's fork or something I can use this for something fencing who knows another thing I can do is decide I don't want to cut this off I wonder if that side will fit in the hole he doesn't say I gotta put it in the right way. I can put it in this way if I want. Still doesn't go. But I tell you what, I don't have to open it up nearly as much if I put it in upside down. So let's see if I can do that. <laughs> Without running into more rocks. No, you're gonna hit rocks. There's always a rock around here. If you live somewhere without rocks every time you put a shovel in the dirt, consider yourself fortunate. Well, that's all right. on that one rock that's just sticking in. Boy, I feel like I could probably just sledge it down. Whew, find my sledge. Tell you what, I'm pretty close already. It's almost down to my chest height there. Let's see if I can knock it, knock it down. That one rock. Let's see if I turn it around so I can get past it. Ooh. 
No, my lazy self ain't gonna get out of pulling that rock. Another one. Goodness. But that other one might might not be in the way. We'll see. Does that look lower? I'm not sure. That went down a smidge. Well, that'll have to do. Man, that seems high. But it's just about the same height as the pool. Now what I can do is, fight, you know, use the chainsaw to square off an edge and notch it in, so that I can put dimensional lumber right up against it. That way it's carrying the load the right way. Man, that is high. <sighs> Makes you think. Is that so high now that I'm going to lose all my pad to stairs? Yeah. Makes you think. Anyway, I'll be doing the rest of them the same way. And then what I might end up doing is coming off into the grass with the stairs. Dad. We'll see. What, little girl? How long is this thing getting? 17 minutes. I hope y'all are fast forwarding through. Kind of jumping around and see where I am. I'm going to try something else. Should have. Should have thought of this earlier. I have the, more than one cedar post. And then I thought to myself, you know, it'd be nice if it went up higher anyway. Because I've got crazy ideas that sometimes could use a piece that goes up a wee bit higher. And look at that, that goes all the way to the bottom without having to cut it. I'm still glad I dug it out a little wider because I'll just pour concrete alongside it to really lock it in. But yeah, I like that a lot better. Oh, that's perfect right there. And uh, <clears throat> heck, if I turn these outward, the, the kids would probably be climbing up that instead of the ladder. Oh, uh, yeah. Turn it this way so it doesn't fall on the pool. But yeah, I like that better for sure. So I'll do similar things with with uh, with that one. Get it up high. That one is where I'll use the shorter one. And then we'll figure out how we're gonna joist it and plank it. Planks will probably just be store bought. I'm thinking about the the fake wood stuff just so I don't have to worry about rot. This is cedar, so hopefully I don't have to worry about rot for as long as we're here. concrete just dump in a hole and pour water love it also love it when you already have the hose running because you're filling the pool i'm gonna fill that hole about 
halfway up and then just slowly pour in the concrete. too fast I want the water a chance to you know mix in Do that with the other ones too. Oh, the song is party mode and well this probably looks really redneck to most people and uh, it sure does to me too. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> I've got my three posts set in a minimum 16 inches. That one's a little bit deeper. Um, but whoop, what am I looking at here? Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at that. Uh, man, I got this junk everywhere, don't I? Don't worry, it'll get cleaned up at some point. They both kind of turn in. The, the, they, they've got a little curve to them. When you're working with nature, not everything's perfect. But, uh, yeah, there's my four. Nope, it's not square. But by golly, it'll work. I'll show you as we keep going. A little progress report here. The, uh, the deck will come see this each little section straight there's a little straight section a pool right here this will be the entry point and i have a, a joist that goes right across uh right across there maybe even a little higher so you'll be able to sit and dangle your legs in that's what the old lady wanted so anyway yeah that's what we're that's what we're up to all right, so we're back out here. Uh, what are we doing exactly, camera lady? I don't know, putting a deck by the pool. A platform by the pool. So I already cut here and here. And, and I'm... Uh, little girls, go. Play. So now I'm, I'm uh, trying to kill myself. Uh, cutting into it so that I can put um, a two-by right up alongside it to, for the deck or platform support. wanting me to throw the wood chips into the pool but golly I don't know how else I'm gonna do this unless I turn the saw upside down which seems goofy some wood chips ain't gonna hurt anything <laughs> Good, don't it? Mm-hmm. What's it smell like? I don't know. What wood. Wood. What kind of wood? Cedar wood. Cedar. <laughs> that way, when I put this, uh, take a look down here. Once I put one of these, I know they're not treated, but we already have these. 
and lumber is expensive so I'll just paint it for outside but I'll put this right in here and that way the screws won't be holding the load the the, the cedar post will be holding the load the screws will just hold it in place so I'll do the same thing over here and I'm going to use the board run a level all across the top to make sure I get it get it good and level but that's what we're doing so go ahead and pause it go <laughs> what do you think? Yep. Yep. My camera ladies always say, when I ask them what they think, they say, yep. <laughs> Oops, I've got some in my pocket. You can back up, you know. I dug in a little bit far on this one, not for the top, but certainly for the bottom, but that's all right. That'll be just fine. So here's your first box joist for your do, uh, pool platform slash ladder access point slash maybe even a slide. Think the little camera ladies would like to have a slide there, Possibly. Mama? Possibly. Whatever. You're going to be going down the slide. I guarantee it. I know I will. There we go. This has got to come out a little bit. I'll hit this with a rubber mallet once I get the others in place. All right. So you see how I just notched it out with a chainsaw. So this is sitting on the actual posts rather than just... Because you see sometimes... If you ever see somebody that just screws one of these on the outside and then they're supporting all the way to their deck with it they're just rusting on the screws well the screws eventually will rust and get less strong right get weaker this way you're on the posts that's it all right got the next one notched this is the actual you know four by four real one and i'm not going to notch over there Get this pot in there, perfect. And we'll secure it to this side. Now you say, well, this one's going to be carried by the other board just with screws. Yes, but the end boards are going to be carrying the cross uh, joists that the deck boards will go on top of. So I'm still doing, putting the most weight where it's the most structurally sound. I could have notched this one this way too. But this is a thinner uh, post, so there wouldn't be as much left. And I want there to be some meat left on the back side of this to go up further for whatever I want to do up there. My wife probably wants some like tacky like fiesta lights or something. Who knows? Ain't no telling with that one. It's fairy lights. F fairy lights. You, I think maybe you've spent too much time at Disney. Eh, you can never have too much time at Disney. <laughs> I think you can. Oh. Uh oh, my battery. It's like, no! Getting there. Oh, gotta back out. That smell when you know you're. Your little electric motor is doing more than it's supposed to. And it smells so good, but you're like, crud, I'm going to have to buy a new one if I don't give it a break. So I need to give this one a break. Maybe, I don't know, pre-drill some holes. Poor thing. Anyway, pause it. Uh, Mama, you want to grab grab the wood? So we're get, we've got these old, uh, what we're going to be, stair treads. My sister's place... Um, the inspector had, had told her incorrectly, or no, uh, one of her contractors, that she needed to redo her stair treads, which I had done. And I'm like, that doesn't sound right. So she had already bought these, and then she double-checked, and she didn't need to redo it. So we've got these beautiful 2x13s. Uh, I guess they probably call it 14s, but uh, the true width, uh, width is, is 13. And I'm just going to rip them down to half size to use, if you look over there, to use for uh, the joists for our little platform for the pool. So anyway, without further ado, 
I have this hooked to the solar array. The battery bank is going to do the, the work here. Flip it that way. Stop. Perfect. Straight forward. That's so loud. Um, when uh, when you don't have this thing planted firmly on the ground, and we've got a pretty long, heavy piece of lumber, what ends up happening is you start you start doing this number. Even with a fence, if you can't keep it against the fence perfectly, it's okay though. Not horrible, uh, but it's okay because this side I'll, I'll just put both of these facing down on our deck. The only problem there, of course, if you have a slight warp, which usually you have on your uh, on your, your two buys, like this one was, was what I ripped in half before. So because it's one board, it warps up on this one and slightly down on this one. Now, will that make a huge difference? Uh, hopefully not. Anyway, that's what we're working on right now. Here you go, camera lady. You want to continue. So, the next thing you do, if you want to do it the handiest way, which most people don't, most people want their stuff done right. And this is a version of right. <laughs> when you hear somebody say something is a version of right, he probably tells you it's wrong, right? Why are you going over here? Go back over there. I want you over here. All right, so yeah, you can just stay right there. That'd be perfect. And uh, move around slightly as needed, camera lady. Oh. This is my second youngest camera lady. Uh, probably the most natural at it, actually. So what I'm gonna do, is I already have pre-marked my next 16 inch on center position. So I'm gonna get this. So it's just about a chainsaw uh, chain width off the edge, just barely hanging on by the skin of its teeth. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put it in its spot right there. Come on underneath. <laughs> and I'm going to take this highly technical measuring tool and I'm going to mark a line on the board right there. And then <laughs> I'm also keep keep don't point towards your sisters. Um, I told you not to. Gosh, not to. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my my level to draw a straight line up, which is kind of hard at an angle like I am right now. Let me go on the other side to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so just so I can see as I'm running the chainsaw where where straight is. So again, with my with my nail here, screw, draw my line, and I can mark at the top as well. Just eyeballing my angle because these are not square. Okay, I am not making a perfectly square deck. So you got to kind of just draw. You know, you got to keep track so you get good fitting joints. Back up and. Uh, Back up over there on the pad again. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> 
Duck down over there. Duck down over there. Mm. Yep. So that I can take this down and I flip it. And right here, ooh, a little sweat in my eye. I'll find somewhere my line. Where'd my line go? There it is. Is that my line? Yep, that's my line. So I can now what I do, remember I had it hanging on by the width of a chainsaw blade. So I'll cut on this side of that so it'll fit perfectly between the two uh, box joints. Uh, of course I had wife handy-ish hold this board for me, but I'll just use my foot to hold it in place. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Just trying to hold it. All right. Now, ready to put it up in a spot. All right. Uh, come around to that side. Mama, want to grab my drill for me, which is right there. I'll get one screw in it to hold it in place. Find its spot for me. Hey, hey, I'm the only star of this show. <laughs> uh, is that where it's supposed to be? You got back where it goes? Yep. Oh, a little long. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, perfection's overrated. Ah, ah, I didn't start it ahead of time. Let it down. Ah, I usually start the screws. I'm going to grab a couple more. And then Mrs. Handy, she usually walks away and leaves me. And I'm like, I just needed to set it down for a second, not for like minutes and minutes. An hour is upon hour. Thank you. I'd probably get a lot better, a lot more views if I put the missus in the video. She's a looker. All right. Ready? Get your in first. Mm -hmm. Lined up. Mm -hmm. Hey, camera lady, watch what you're looking at. Stop looking at your sister's plane. Oh boy, I'm coming right here. <laughs> Oh, I need you to let go. Yeah, I'm lucky it didn't fall. It was stuck in there, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Right there. Oh, no. Right there. Then you gotta make sure when you got a little warp to it, put a little tension, take some of that warp out. You won't always get all of it out, but now notice. See in here, like these, right here. Well, you don't need to be that close. Mm. So I said before I wanted the weight to be on the on the the boards. Back up on the the, the, the posts. On these, one across. You notice I'm only just throwing screws in from the other side. I'll come back later and add. Um, these are a little less than two by sixes, just by a smidge. I'll just use two by four joist hangers, so to shore that up a little bit more. So it's not just doing all the, you could get away with it and it'd probably last for years, but it's not right. And I do a lot of things that are almost not right, but, or, or they're, they're pretty much wrong, but they're always like right on the edge. Some things you don't mess around with. So this thing ain't going to be square, but it'll be strong. Pause it. All right. So, um, I'm going to call this the Franken deck. Because, I mean, from the get-go, I knew we'd be mixing and matching things. Like our cedar posts. And the, and the post for the clothesline. And some old lumber that we had laying around. Then I went to, to Lowe's, right? And we got the decking material. And we had 
a shortage at Lowe's. Not enough, but I had enough to get started. So I grabbed uh, seven pieces of this lighter brown, and then I grabbed nine pieces of this darker brown. I'm like, that's fine. I'll just go every other, and they're close enough. It's kind of nice. It kind of looks good. I, I think it looks good. Come, come take a look at those. Right here, you can just put the camera up, and they can see, like, that looks fine. You can hardly tell, really. I mean, it, over there, you can kind of see the variation better. And if you alternate, it's fine. So... So I, I call back in, like, if you gotten more in, when are you going to get more in? And they, they don't know when they're going to get more in. And so I look online to another Lowe's, and they had some in stock. And, and my wife, she says, call ahead to make sure. And I said, they probably don't even know. And, you know, I'll, I'll just go and just get what they have. I mean, the deck's sitting here needing to be built. So I go, and they don't have this, this type of brown, either brown, none of it. So not only are we going to have two colors, now we're going to have not three, but four colors of decking material on this thing. Uh, at this point, I just love it. And, and it's like, well, I already have these all screwed down to, to here. So am I going to pull up, do you think, camera lady? No, I don't care. I, I just don't care enough. So we're just going to keep going with the... With, uh, Maybe some sort of mixing in or whatever. Who knows? In a couple of years, if I really feel that bad about it, we can throw some kind of paint material or something and make it all the same. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a progress report. It looks pretty good here. Let me see the camera here. And um, a little higher. And back up a little too. Uh, it's, it's coming together. It looks good. Um, I mean, I think it looks good. Most of you are probably like, what in the world is this? So check out my, my uh, uh, ladder rungs so the girls earlier they were already they step up here and then they've got two more if they need them the the bigger girls can just kind of use one or two but uh yeah it's um it's a franken deck all right so uh i'm told by the camera lady that they kind of get it at this point and this has become a really long video with multiples kind of spliced together so you get the, what I'm doing here. And then from here, finishing it up is just a standard deck, right? Um, we'll put some handrails around it. Uh, you know, standard deck stuff like a water slide. We'll do all that stuff maybe later. But you you get the gist of this, how it's put together. So I think that's it. Um, if you've watched this the whole way through, I, I don't... I was gonna, like, sorry? No, not sorry. You had every opportunity to stop watching. Or maybe you, like, zoomed through or something. But... If you like this goofy stuff, I'm sure I'll be doing more. I've got a roof project coming up uh, this summer. Hopefully, I can get it done this summer. Uh, so subscribe so you can get that uh, notification when I when I post some sort of ridiculousness. See ya.